how are you doing? Happy Thursday. So this whole week, we have been talking about the top six frequently asked questions when thinking or considering launching a podcast, in my case, a video podcast. So day number one, which was Monday, we talked about what a podcast is. That was question number one from my frequently asked questions. If you haven't downloaded it yet, here's a free copy. You can go and download it, link in bio. Now, question number two, which we addressed on Tuesday was, if I do a video podcast, do I need to create more content? So we went through all that. The two videos so far are posted on my uh, feed, so I will invite you to go watch them. And then yesterday, Wednesday, the, the third question was, um, why should I do both, video and podcast? So I have answered so far all those questions for you. And again, they are all within the top six frequently asked questions when thinking about launching a video podcast. So go get your free copy. Now, today's question, which I'm going to be posting right here, is what if I am afraid of being in front of the camera? And that is a very common question. Let me ping it to the top. So I have to tell you a story about this one because you are not the only one who may have fears about being in front of a camera. I am in front of a camera right now and you may not even notice this, this but every single time I get in front of the camera, whether it is recording, knowing that I can delete it and re-record, or whether it is that I'm going live, I get nervous. I get really, really nervous. My heart starts beating, my hands start sweating, and I know I'm not the only one. I know that there is a ton of people out there that feel the same way. But then the way for me to deal with this is actually look at people that are doing it and doing successfully. And you will see somebody like Jasmine Starr that she's so loving and genuine. And she even says when she goes live that she gets nervous and she has hundreds of thousands of followers. So that right there and then tells you that it is okay to have fear. It is okay to feel nervous um, when you're recording or where, when you are in front of the camera. Now, the little story that I wanted to tell you is when I thought about launching my podcast, when I was having the initial ideas of I want to launch a podcast, in my mind, it never, the, the two were never separate, meaning the audio and video. I always thought I need to have video along with my podcast. And the reason being is because if you look at statistics and you look at uh, reports, recent reports, they say that about 80% of the website traffic will be driven by video. So if you're not taking advantage of video right now, then you're leaving a huge portion of the population and the audience that you can be interacting with. And by default, that will help you grow your audience. So what I did, knowing that I was afraid of being in front of the camera, I went, and this was two years ago, I went and I signed up for the Video Summit event of the year. In this case, that was Vid Summit. Yeah, I said, okay, I gotta learn everything about video. I didn't know anything. And not only I went and signed up to go there to that event so I could learn from all the people that are actually doing videos successfully, but I also signed up for Sunny Letter News's um, video training. She is a YouTube expert and it is thanks to everything that I've learned through her program to launch videos, to be consistent with the videos, to put your videos onto YouTube, that I started like feeling more confident about my ability to add video to my podcast. So, and then when I went to the event, I actually recorded a video of me saying, I am so freaking nervous about recording this video, but I'm still gonna do it anyways. So you gotta push yourself. You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta um, experience things. I'm telling you, it's just like riding a bicycle, right? Just go back in time and think about the times where, um, when you were thinking or wanting to learn a, riding a bicycle. It wasn't easy, you know, probably you fell down multiple times, but that is the beauty of it, my friend. It's like 
taking that step, feeling the fear and the nervousness inside of your tummy, but knowing that you're excited about doing it, knowing that once you learn, you're gonna have that under your belt and you're gonna feel great about it because you have achieved something that you didn't know how to do before. So here I'm going to share with you one slide with a few tips so you can see, and actually there are just a couple of tips that I want to share with you. So again, the question today was, what if I don't like being in front of the camera for your video podcast? And my first tip to you is focus on serving your audience. What happens is oftentimes we focus on us. We focus on how do I look? What am I going to say? How about if I make mistakes? How about if I, you know, don't say the right thing? All that is the ego talking. What you really need to focus on is what is my message? Who is my target audience? And how can I help them? If you can answer those three questions, you're golden already. You are helping others. You're focusing your effort on actually helping transform somebody else's life, not so much on yours. So that is my tip number one. Just focus on your audience and the value that you can deliver for them. And point number two or tip number two for you is embrace imperfections. People like me that like perfectionism, I don't even know if that's a word. Is that a word? (laughs) You see, you can say things that you don't even know and, and it's okay. So even though your things don't go as perfect as you would like them to be or to go, embrace that because what is going to happen is you are going to learn from that it's not a mistake it's not that you're failing it's lessons that you're learning as you go along the way and i can assure you my friend this is a journey this is not a destination as you go through this time over time over time and practice over practice you are going to perfection this and you're going to be getting better and better So now my last question now is actually to you. So when you say, I am afraid of being in front of the camera, I would really like to ask you from the bottom of my heart, is what you're saying, meaning that you are not willing to help your audience? Because that is all what it boils down to. It really does. And I do want you, you may not like me for saying that, but I do want you to think through that If you're putting your fear of being in front of the camera as a priority, as opposed to serving your audience, you need to really rethink, my friend. You see, I got my tongue all tangled there. Rethink, because the purpose of doing this, the purpose of getting on live presentations, creating videos, creating content is so you can add value to somebody else, so you can transform somebody else, so you can help somebody else who had an opinion to now have a different and better opinion. So with that, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm going to be back tomorrow at 11.30 to talk about uh, the top six frequently asked questions. Tomorrow is question number five. Today was question number four. What if I am afraid of being in front of the camera? Now, don't forget to download your top six frequently asked questions about video podcasting. Link in bio. See you tomorrow.